In this video, we're going to show you how to replace an AC condenser on your Hyundai Sonata. Let's get started. Before beginning this job, take your car down to the local shop and have them evacuate the AC system. Once we're done completing the repair, bring it right back down and have them fill the system. Remove the two clips on the splash shield on the bottom. There should be one more right here. Ours is missing. Do this on the other side. Using a 10 millimeter socket, remove the bolt on the corner of the bumper. There will be one on either side. Do the same thing on the other side. Remove the 10 millimeter bolts on the top corner of the bumper. Do the same thing on the other side. Remove the six plastic clips for the grill. Using a little pick tool and a trim clip tool. To remove the bumper, grab right at the corner and pull straight out. We're gonna disconnect these clips and we're gonna go do the same thing on the other side. Once we have those two corners popped off, we're gonna go to the top. We're gonna pick up. There's a little tab right here that you're gonna have to remove. Pick it up off and pull the bumper straight forward. If you have fog lights, we're going to need to disconnect those. There was an aftermarket kit installed over here. We're going to have to figure out how to remove this bulb. It's kind of glued in. The normal connector for the fog light is going to look like this. Pinch on either side and remove the connector. And then you can remove your bumper. Using a 10 millimeter socket, remove the three bolts for the hood latch. Remove the connector for the horn. There's a push button in the back. Push on that, pull straight down. Using a 10 millimeter socket, remove the bolt on the upper middle radiator support. Remove the two tens at the bottom. Remove the bolts. I'm going to swivel this down using a small Phillips head bit. We're going to go after this plastic clip. Put your bit inside of the head. Get it to slightly come out. Once it's slightly out, you can get a little pry bar or trim clip tool in there and pop the clip out. Behind the bumper impact support bar, we're going to find a Phillips head screw. Using a small bit and a ratchet, remove the screw. There's one more screw on the bottom. Remove that. Remove the plastic. And then repeat this same process on the other side. Using a 10 millimeter socket, remove the nuts for the AC lines. Remove the nuts, pull straight up on the AC lines and pop them off of the condenser. On either side of the condenser, you'll see these locking tabs. We're going to open these locking tabs up and as we open them up, we're going to push up on the condenser and push it out of the radiator. Do the same thing on the other side, pop it out. Remove the condenser. Install the new condenser.
drop the condenser down into the locking tabs. Also make sure it hits the locator tab in the back, located here. We're going to install the foam pieces onto the back of the condenser. Peel back on the paper, get it laid down. I'm going to line it up and then just pull the paper. Do the same thing on the other side. Install the studs into the condenser. Using a stud installer or a double nut method, the double nut being put two nuts on the same stud, tighten them together, and then use that as your install. I'm going to use a stud installer and snug these studs down. Before installing your AC lines, check the O-rings. Make sure there's no rips, cuts, anything that will stop it from sealing well. We do recommend changing them. Ours look in good shape, so we're going to reuse them. Install the line. Install the nut, do the same thing on the other one, check the o-ring, install the line, and get the nut started. Snug the nuts down, make sure your lines are fully seated. Torque the AC line nuts to four foot-pounds. Install the plastic air cowl. Install the plastic clip. Lock it in. Install the screw on the bottom. And we have one more in the middle behind our bar. Get the screw started. Snug it down. Repeat the same process on the other side. Pull the center support up, get it lined up. Get and install the one bolt behind. Install the bolts on the bottom. We only have one. This left one broke off on us. With the bolts started, go ahead and snug them down. Install the hood switch, get the bolts started, two on the top side and one in the middle on the bottom. Snug the bolts down, install the fog light connector if you have fog lights. Do the same thing on the other side. Install the bumper onto the vehicle. These top tabs will hold the bumper on. Go around to the side. Pull the bumper into place. Snap these brackets in. You should hear these connect. Ours are broken so you won't hear them click. They should click into place and stay nice and still. Do the same thing on the other side. Install the 10 millimeter bolts in the top of the bumper. Do the same thing on the other side. Install the clips for the grill. And do the same for the three on the other side of the grill. Install the 10 millimeter bolt in the corner of the bumper.
Make sure the inner fender liner is sitting inside of the bumper. Since our car was in an accident, this isn't gonna line up very well, but this should tuck right behind this bolt. Do the same thing on the other side. Install the clips for the front splash shield. Do the same thing on the other side. Once we've completed the job, take your car down to the local shop and have them recharge the AC system. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.